Good morning. It's a little chilly this morning, but I think I'll go without the jacket. I got my uh, Seam Town Marathon shirt on. Uh, feeling good. I got a little bit extra sleep in. It's still before 8, so I can still get my 3 miler in before mass starts. And gloves. Hat and gloves. Should be good. Going up Holmes Foster Park again with some of the most beautiful oaks one could ever want in our local park. Look at this brown red of the oak trees. Isn't this just a beautiful color? Nice little playground for the little ones here. And for the bigger little ones up at the top of the hill. Question of the day, which was harder for you, training for your first 5K or your first marathon? Yeah, for me, definitely. I think the first 5K is not only harder, but it's a bigger accomplishment. I'm just gonna run straight through the grass here. I could run on that little dirt road on the side if I wanted to. Poke the distance, I probably should. Yeah, so. But the uh, becoming a marathoner was more painful. And it's definitely something people respect. Here we are up at the top with the playground for the 5 to 12 year olds, the big big little ones. My favorite is always the swing set. Yeah. Yeah, taking yourself from a walker or a sedentary person to a 5k runner is just absolutely amazing. It's so much so tough, especially doing it in adulthood. When you're a kid, maybe you're already running, but having a kid, I can say, even to run in a 5K is not an easy thing for him. It involves a lot of walking. Because kids are natural sprinters. They're not natural distance runners. That's for sure. <laughs> this is why you don't see many two-year-olds running marathons. It's always funny whenever you see a book start, kids are natural runners, you should run like a kid. It's like, yeah, how many toddlers do you see finishing the New York City Marathon each year? <laughs> it's just uh, blinders on. I wonder the people say that kind of stuff even have kids. And one thing for sure is my eight-year-old can run around without shoes on, without hurting himself, but you know, that might have to do with weight more than anything, right? Hello, Oaks. Yeah. Also, it could be a lack of fear of, you know, those times I know I stepped on things and cut my foot. Heck, when I was eight, I stepped on a nail, went right through my foot. I remember that. And then when I was in high school, I stepped on a can once and I had to go to the hospital for that. <sighs> All those experiences, right, lead up to a certain caution with the feet. Right here we are to road running. So a little bit of, uh, I guess, cross country there. Not even a mile in yet, though. And then we're into Holmes Foster neighborhood. that tree. That's a tall skinny tree. Yeah, the 5K is also a more practicable 
accomplished with in a marathon. I'm certainly proud of my marathon. It's amazing. My body was able to take me more than 26 miles, most of which was running until like the last 10 miles. <laughs> um, yeah, it's an amazing accomplishment, but just practically for an adult, having that confidence that you can run three miles when you need to, right? Not only is that probably all the aerobic health a St. Music teacher like myself or accountant, lawyer, uh, plumber, road worker, bus driver, you know, whatever your job is, toll worker, uh, needs, right? It's a healthy amount. I have to swatch in that car, make sure it wasn't too close. Uh, practicably, 5K training throughout the year, doing a bunch of them in your local area, also connects you to local potentially running groups, friends, uh, acquaintances, all of those things, but also gives you the aerobic capacity you need. The marathon is uh, more, right? <laughs> it's more aerobic exercise, more aerobic ability. And I'm absolutely amazed by the people that can run, train for a marathon every year, right? Or maybe two a year. And there's people that can run even more than that. And that's just amazing. Absolutely beautiful thing. But that's more than's needed. You know? Uh, there's a lot more local 5Ks than there are marathons. In fact, we don't have a local marathon. We have a local half. We have a local 50 miler. I don't think I'll ever run a 50 miler. But I think they did add a 50K division. I was told about that. I wouldn't, uh, I didn't look it up to make sure. But that's around a marathon. Maybe I'll run that someday. But yeah, that's a practical thing. It's more aerobic ability than I need as an adult living in America, right? Similar countries. Even my dad's job, he was a floor layer, right? It's not like you need to that extensive amount of aerobic ability. He needs the strength to carry the tiles when that comes up, right? You need the ability to keep yourself moving. And those are all great things, but it's not a steady state uh, cardio thing. However healthy it is for you, however much you know you benefit you get from telomeres or telomeres. I don't understand all the science of it for longevity. You get them for the 5K as well as from the marathon. Still, I love my marathon. Time to put my glove back on. The other good thing about 5K training, regardless of your ability, is uh, whether you run a 20 minute 5K or half hour 5K, or 45 minute 5k or an hour long marathon, I mean hour long 5k like my buddy did, all right? At some point, you're gonna run a little, wanna run a little bit faster, right? And that itch to do some speed work uh, is gonna work a different system or a different, your same system, right? What Kenneth yeah, Cooper called aerobics, but what they call it, aerobic and anaerobic systems today, you know, it's all cardiovascular. Uh, so, shorter distance is going to make you itch for that. What they call H-I-I-T, right? You're going to do some intervals at the track or on a path, maybe some fart looks, striders, something. And you'll have time to do it because it eventually becomes a manageable amount of work. Certainly, there are people who run marathon times that are fast enough that they really benefit from adding a speed work to that and get some high intensity interval training in along with the distance and that's a great thing but again because of the lighter load of 5, 5k training you know everybody can 
and a slightly faster speed, right? Everybody can benefit from something. And finally, there's no reason not to do both, right? Maybe you build up for a marathon every couple of years and you do your local 5Ks. Heck, find some 10Ks and half marathons in there too. Or a 50K. Or if you're really awesome, a 100 mile or something. I only know one person personally who's run one of those. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no reason to, to limit yourself to one distance. You can do them all. Everything that's available to you is an adult. And all these distances are. Certainly there's a lot more 5Ks. And marathons, yeah, they're a really popular distance. But there's lots of different distances available. And for each distance, try out different training plans. Some might focus more on speed work, some might focus more on longer distance. You find ones that work well for you. Try different systems. Try run walk. Try zone two heart rate rate training. Try mathetone. Try you know everything you can find. Try the Jack Daniels distance formula. You know, if you're fast enough, try Pete Fitzinger's book. You know, having different plans is going to be good for your health. Oh. Good morning, Blue Jay. Variety is a spice of life. That's an old saying for you. Saw a blue heron fly over this way. Decided to jump onto the path. Japanese people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 